What's going on smart people? Yesterday's video I said that I have a classical mechanics exam coming up and today I'm studying for it. I'm feeling pretty good already. I'm feeling on top of things and I should considering how much time and effort I put into these goddamn homework assignments that take me so long. But you know after struggling through them I just I come out of it feeling like I have a pretty complete knowledge of what we've been going over. Having said that I'm still going to study from the book. I'm taking notes on the book instead of rereading my own notes uh, in themselves because as it turns out, my professor just lectures pretty much straight from the book in the first place. So I'd rather just get the information straight from the horse's mouth rather than retake notes on notes I've taken from what a professor said who's reiterating stuff from the book in the first place. That just sounds, I'm gonna go this route. But what I want to accomplish today is I want to go over some of DeLambert's principle. I want to go over basic Lagrangian mechanics. And then after that, I want to uh, rework some of my homework sets. I actually have a video where I talk about how I study for physics exams. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see that. I think the video is good. I believe still everything that I say in it. The editing is pretty whack. There's a lot of like abrupt zoom in, zoom out. So I was still figuring out how to edit at that time so bear with me on that one but what I talk about how I talk about like what I will study and how I budget my time and schedule everything I think it's valuable information if you're new to it because it can be kind of a daunting task to be like how the hell am I gonna cover all of this material the too long didn't watch is don't just say I'm gonna study for three hours say exactly what you want to accomplish that day get that accomplished give yourself little milestones and then at the end test yourself with your homeworks and stuff like that Ideally, the way that this is gonna go is tomorrow, most of tomorrow and all of the next day, I'd like to have opened up so I can just study orbits. Uh, I also wanna make like a, a comprehensive table of contents that I can put at the front of my binder. That way I can have a really quick reference for where material is because in yesterday's video, I let you know that this test is gonna be open book. So if I can flip to the first page and see, oh, Kepler's laws are on this page of the book, you know, I, I don't wanna waste any time. I'm slow enough as it is. And as you guys can tell, I have a, a companion who's really helping me out right now you know looking through my notes making sure I'm not missing anything I'm gonna get started though uh, in the next clip I will probably be pretty deep into studying this is a good angle huh this really compliments me all right about an hour and a half in right now nothing crazy uh, I'm probably gonna end up cutting the video very very shortly just because it's dinner time now and I need to eat and then get back to studying and you kind of ruin the momentum when you need to like record another clip and stuff like that. I just got a really late start on the video today because I spent most of my day trying to find this Green's function to an operator, which took much longer than I thought that it would. So it kind of threw off the schedule for the day. But you know, so it's a short video today. Tomorrow's will be better. Hope you guys still enjoyed the video nonetheless. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.